date and spell your first and last name for the court's now Cesar Fernandez, C E S A R Fernandez, F E R N A N D E Z. Good morning, I'm Scott Fernandez. Good morning. Can you tell the jurors um, where you are currently employed, sir? Uh, State of Atlanta Police Department. And um, how long have you been uh, a member of the City of Atlanta Police Department? Uh, a little over 13 years. Okay. And uh, you, uh, you're a sergeant now? Yes, sir. And can you tell uh, the jurors uh, back in 2015, uh, where within the city of Atlanta Police Department were you specifically assigned? Uh, I was assigned to Zone 3 uh, Morning Watch Patrol. Okay. And um, how long, uh, I guess, were you a patrol officer uh, in Zone 3 uh, prior to 2015? Um, six, seven years. Okay. And um, can you tell the jurors, uh, were you pretty familiar with uh, I guess Cleveland Avenue in Zone 3. Yes. And um, did you have the occasion on April 28th of 2015, a little after 1 a.m., uh, to be dispatched to um, the Crystals uh, off of Cleveland Avenue? Uh, was that the date? I thought it was. Excuse me, I'm, I, I misspoke. On January 12th of 2015, I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, what was the question again? So you, were you dispatched to uh, 349 Cleveland Avenue, the Crystals? Uh, that early morning around 1 a.m. Yes, um, I was. It was actually initially. I was actually initially dispatched the uh, 445 Cleveland Avenue, which is apartment complex, in regards to the incident occurring at uh, 349 Cleveland Avenue at the Crystals. Okay, and uh, the apartment complex is that pretty? I guess close uh, in proximity to uh, the Crystals. Yes. And um, are both of those addresses of the apartment complex as well as the Crystals um, here, at City of Atlanta, uh, Fulton County? Yes. And uh, can you tell the jurors uh, why were you dispatched to um, that general area uh, that early morning? Uh, I was dispatched to a dispute with a weapon. Uh, when I arrived to the scene uh, of the apartment complex, uh, I met with uh, the two uh, victims and uh, they advised that they were at the Crystals and uh, they pulled up to speak to uh, one of the victim's cousins that was in the drive through and I guess there was a verbal exchange with the uh, passenger in that vehicle. Um, at some point, that passenger uh, pulled out a weapon and fired a shot into the air. Okay, and um, the uh, two uh, females that you uh, spoke to uh, when you uh, arrived um, was, uh, well that, was that, excuse me, Miss uh, Good and Miss Anderson? Yes. And um, after you uh, took their statements, uh, did you physically go to uh, the Crystals? Uh, I had another officer um, check the actual Crystals location for any um, evidence. Okay. And um, were you able or was, based on your knowledge of the investigation, uh, any ballistics or shell casings um, uh, found? Uh, no. We, didn't, we weren't able to locate any casings. The, the, it was likely that uh, the, the casing was possibly... Uh, within the vehicle since the weapon wasn't uh, out, outside of the vehicle from my understanding. Okay. And, um, and you are speaking with um, Miss uh, Good. You mentioned that uh, she talked about uh, her cousin. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, okay. And um, do you remember the name uh, that she gave you uh, of her cousin? Uh, I'd have to... Is looking at your report would refresh your recollection. Yes. Uh, when you're done, just look up. <clears throat> Yes, uh, Miss uh, so Miss Smith. Did looking at your report refresh refresh your recollection? Y yes. Okay. And can you tell uh, the jurors what was the name of Miss um, Good's cousin? Miss Antrivia Smith. Okay. And uh, in speaking uh, with uh, Miss Good, um, were you provided with uh, the address of Miss Smith? Yes. And uh, can you tell the jurors? Um, do you remember uh, what that address was? Uh, yeah, I'd have to look at my report again. Looking at your report. Refresh your recollection, just look up when you're done. Does your recollection refresh as to the address that um, you were given for Ms. Uh, Smith? Yes. Okay. Uh, what address was that? It's uh, 2905 Springdale Road. Okay. And uh, after uh, you were given that address, uh, did you and some um, of your uh, fellow officers go to that address? Correct. 
and can you uh, tell the jurors um, when uh, you all went to that address, um, what were you able to determine or what com came about that? The, uh, the vehicle in question, um, Ms. Smith's vehicle was parked in front of the, the apartment uh, building where she resided. Okay. And did you attempt to make a contact? Did you knock on the door? Yes, we attempted to make contact, but no one, no one answered at the door. Okay. And um, after uh, you attempted to make contact, uh, can you tell the jurors um, what you kind of did next as it related to uh, this part of, of the investigation? Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, at that point we just made our notifications and uh, uh, notified investigators that the vehicle was in fact out there. Um, I, I don't believe we, we did anything with the vehicle at, at that time. Okay. Uh, and just to bring, uh, go back to the incident, the crystals, um, did you attempt to get any video um, from, uh, I guess, the exterior of the crystals that night? Um, I can't remember what uh, Officer Glass did in regards to that. Uh, I remember that they, the the employees at the crystals uh, advised that they didn't that they didn't sustain. Okay, based on your uh, investigation and uh, your role, um, were you ever able to obtain any video surveillance? I wasn't. Your Honor, I don't have any further questions pending redirect. Any questions for this witness? No, thank you. Anybody? No. Nope. Okay. Thank you for your time. You are excused. Um, let's take a restroom break, and then you all can have your next witness ready. All right, we'll take 10 minutes or whenever the jury gets back. <laughs> 